All right, we'll take questions about yeah. Yeah, there's no question he did. He made me look like a dummy. And we, we talked about it back in the coach's locker room. Um, you know, there was a chance he could have pitched last night, and maybe you could argue we should have used him. And I know he wanted to be in the game. He's a good kid. He would never say anything disrespectful to the coaches. But you could see he kind of had an extra bit of emotion boiling out because he wanted to be out there. And uh, that's, that's the right way to handle it. It's kind of like the way our guys showed up to the park today. Um, it's an emotional series. And... Um, obviously, game three, which will decide who wins, and, and you have to certainly have passion and emotion, but you got to control it. And that guy had whatever all the levels are on those things. I just said he had them all turned up all the way, but but yet had them under control. What was Joseph Gonzalez doing those middle innings that really threw his hitters off? Yeah, I mean the whole game, he's good, man. Um, it ain't like he's got a 25 plus ERA. Uh, he's he's one of their better guys, and um, y- you know I, I think for me. He seems to kind of be a rhythm pitcher from watching the video, and we fortunately got him right out of the gate when maybe he hadn't settled in or whatever you want to phrase it. But, but otherwise, he's he's kind of been their best numbers guy all year long, and, and seems to be a guy that kind of gets in a rhythm and he's got a little Hunley effect to him where he's he's not scared out there and and just kind of touching and going and messing with hitters a little bit. The other thing is, you know, the wind wasn't too friendly unless you hit it right at the scoreboard. Uh, so there were some well struck balls on both sides that you know didn't result in anything productive. You kept going back to Joyce again and again. I'm pretty sure it's his longest outing. Why was it? Was there any thought of taking him out? Well, there, there's never any, um, y- you know, doubt in our minds. He's prepared to go back-to-back days or long distance. And I even said to you guys one time uh, that we think he could be a starter. I mean, if you're talking about the draft or, or anything down the road, I wouldn't put that past him. You got to have kind of a two or three pitch mix and throw strikes, and he does that. And you got to have stuff to be able to go through the order multiple times. He obviously has that, but. No, we, we kind of had a plan for some matchups for other guys, but he was the first guy out of the pen regardless because of those circumstances I mentioned before. And uh, I ain't the smartest fella, but I ain't taking that guy out of the game or nor are any of the other coaches. What was the thinking in leaving Beeman there in the, I think it was top of the six? Yeah, it was close. You know, it was close. And you, you saw we were fortunate. I mean, you got a green light, Sonny, with, with the 3-0 count. Not a phenomenal swing. And then he had looked good against Pierce, uh, you know, and then I think I believe we got to two strikes, so I was kind of hoping he'd get that guy out, and then was going to have to make the call: are we going to Ben or not? And you know the call was kind of made for us because the ball got squared up, I believe, with two strikes going back. So, you know, he was rocking and rolling, and you know it, it, we'll have to go back and see it. I mean, I, I think maybe there was times where they had our guys' pitches, and maybe there was times where we had their pitches. It, it, it'll be something we can look at with Drew, but I mean he came out really looking sharp, and so. Oh. A couple innings accepted on Friday. This was probably the most competitive series scoreboard yeah. you guys have had. What was it that made it that way, and how good was it for your team to go through that? Yeah, I knew it was coming, and that's what I was kind of rambling, but I was going to say it'd be pretty interesting to see both teams, you know, neutral site, both sides healthy, um, you, you know, what kind of series you'd have. Not that this one wasn't phenomenal, um, but we, we expected it. I mean, well coached, play hard, a lot of talent up and down the lineup, and uh, I, I think – to go to your other point, it's pretty good for our guys to know they're not invincible. Because um, I think the way they act sometimes, people might might think that. But it's just a confident group that, group that likes to compete. But everyone needs to be reminded a little bit. You can be humbled in this game really, really quick. And, and to further that point, showing up today, I think, was kind of the first time where you kind of showed up to the park and it had that, that feel like an elimination type game in a regional or a super regional or with your season on the line or maybe down in Hoover and phenomenal for our guys to experience that. So in a weird way, thankful for the situation. We talked a lot earlier in the season about Ben just needing reps. With Now that he's gotten those reps, where has he grown the most? Uh, you know, I think basically controlling that fire. I mean, some guys got to pitch with different personality. I mean, I mentioned Hunley earlier. Sometimes you're wondering if he was even awake when he was on the mound, and Ben certainly is. But he's, he's kind of mastered all his routines and pitches. He just needed the opportunity to, to go out there and do those things. And what do you do in between innings? What do you do in your warm-ups? All, you know, don't have to turn it into a science project. Uh, but, again, just needed reps. And if you're going to go off today, you probably say coach, the head coach was a little too slow in, in building him up. But we want to be at our best in May and June, and, and I think Ben's going to be at his best in May and June. And, if anything, the coaching staff did definitely call that a few times.
Tony, I know that you said that the win was not really anyone's favorite today in the play, but I guess when 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 Beck squares one up, it maybe doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, that... Yeah, so um, Chris Burke, you know, asked off the record, he brought up some hitters, and he said, is Jordan Beck the best hitter in the country? And I love Jordan to death. There, there's no way to really gray that out, so I wouldn't say no, he's not. But I said, what about their guy? Um, the, the way that guy plays the game and the type of kid he is and how good his swing is, I don't know what his swing looked like last year, uh, but Sonny might be the best hitter, um, you know, at least that we faced. Again, I, I'm pro Tennessee guys, but as far as guys that we've had on this field, he's the most concerned we've ever been about. But I, I think Jordan, going back to my, my deal with Burke, I said he might be the most explosive hitter uh, in college baseball where, you know, anything crazy can, even just a line drive out at Minute Maid, he had so many, anything crazy can happen at any moment because he's so explosive. And to your point there, it really didn't matter which way the wind was blowing or what have you. Is that a bad with how we worked back in 2 Just kind of an example of how much he's improved in his career here. Yeah, I mean, you, you saw his, his posture. I mean, again, you got a big, strong guy like Ben or Jordan. They're, they're certainly blessed, but you got to learn how to use those tools in your favor. And he's learned to do it with his arm in the outfield, his defense in the outfield, his base running. He's a good runner for how big he is. And then, yeah, I, I think he's become more of a complete hitter. And uh, it's a testament to his work ethic. He... He kind of does it low key, um, not a lot of look at me, but if you're talking about the cages out here on the field, hooking up with Coach Elander and being in the uh, the video room, he might be in first place out of the hitters. Ben Joyce is in first place out of anybody that's been here so far. Do you expect Chase and, and Dickie to maybe be back next weekend? I would, I would love that. Like I said, you know, it, it's always great to say, what would it be like if we had our full squad or they had their full squad, but it's, it's not gonna end up that way. I mean, you're always maybe, Halvey hopefully can something crazy can happen. You're always going to wonder if a guy's feeling 100 percent if you got the whole roster. But when we do get those guys back, it'll be a huge boost. Um, but I think Blake Burke and, and Kyle Booker are two guys that realize maybe there's a window here um, while Dickey's out. And then I think certainly with Dolander being out, maybe we don't have that outing with Ben Joyce. That's really a historic outing. Uh, so whenever he comes back, uh, I think the staff will come together even more. Moving, Last Luke, question. moving Luke up into the two spot, just what, what do you get from him and him being able to get on, especially in those two innings where you guys put them together? Yeah, if, um, I mean, again, you get lose your temper and get suspended, you're listening to the broadcast. And John Wilkerson just kept talking about getting on base, getting on base. And and with the pitcher we were going to see today, we knew it was going to be a challenge. Throws a lot of strikes, not a ton of strikeouts, but gets a bunch of outs. So just looking for anyone early in the game to get on base. Again, there was a carryover from last night. I don't, I don't know if Friday or Saturday had anything to do with today, but it was kind of in our meeting something we focused on is what, what do we got to do to kind of throw the first punch or, or produce something and you know, it's pretty, pretty crazy how that one worked out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll see you.